Hello students, Miss Tyree here, and today I'm going to be leading you through a very approachable and not too scary set of warm-ups that you can work on singing at home. If you haven't already, go and watch my video called How to Practice Singing at Home. I'll give you some advice on where to practice, how to communicate with the people you're sharing space with, and just some tips for you to have a really successful practice session. Now, one of the pieces of advice that I give in that video is to find a place where you can minimize distractions. And I have just gone and made that very difficult for myself because this is Frank. He's my new little kitten and he's staying in my studio. So if you hear any sound in the background, it's because he's very rambunctious and likes to eat my hair. So say hi to Frank and uh, hopefully he doesn't get too bothered by me practicing in here. Frank, do you mind if I practice in here? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> so as you can see, I've just switched to standing up. If you would like to practice standing, you can. You can also practice by sitting down. Just make sure that your hips are rotated so that you're not squishing down on your belly, but they're rotated out and you're sitting tall off your belly. You gotta give your belly room to breathe and be proud of the space that you create there. I'm also practicing in front of a mirror that I'll reference every once in a while and I'll still be able to see you and you'll still be able to see me. If you have a mirror at home that you can practice in front of, that's going to be very beneficial. It's not required, you'll still do fine if you don't have one, but it's good to get that immediate feedback of seeing yourself as you practice singing. So let's get started with thinking about our breath. Breathing is very important for singers, for obvious reasons, and when you breathe to sing, it's actually a lot like the breath you take when you're asleep. Deep, relaxed breathing that drops down and fully expands your lungs. The way that you as a singer can feel that, there's a couple different ways, but I'll give you one of the fastest and easiest. Do this with me. Make a little triangle with your hands, Turn it upside down, and put it over your belly button. And right here, your hands are on your belly. You can feel where that breath expansion is going to be noticeable. See if you can feel this. If you can't, it's okay, it takes time. But if you can, it's good biofeedback. Your body is telling you the response that it's feeling. So try this with me. We're going to close our eyes and we're gonna take three breaths but make them sleeping breaths, like you're in the middle of a deep sleep. Do this with me, with your hands over your belly. Close your eyes. Now breathe in one. Breathe out. Breathe in again. Feel that belly expand when you breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in a third time. And breathe out. Open your eyes. Now hopefully you were able to feel some expansion happening there. And I didn't really give you any instructions on breathing through your mouth, breathing through your nose. I just said breathe like you're sleeping and hopefully you felt that relaxation and that expansion. This is something that you can do yourself to practice. Every once in a while, just take a few sleeping breaths and start to get used to the feeling of the expansion and relaxation here as your lungs fill with air, that expansion happens here as well. And that's a good way of measuring if you're releasing and relaxing when you breathe in. Next, let's talk about your face and mouth as you are singing. You'll notice I switched back to seated. Either works, it's fine. But again, I'm sitting tall and being careful not to slouch down on my belly but sitting tall off of my belly. So when we talk about your face for singing, your jaw is very important because it can hold tension or it can let go of tension. Tension is the enemy of good singing. It will hold your sound back and make it sound very forced or stressed. You wanna let go of tension in singing as well as in other things in life. And this is how you can do that. Your jaw connects all the way up here by your ears. 
all the way up here. It's this curved bone that comes from your chin. Follow it, trace around, and it ends right here. Do this with me. Take two fingers, lay it right next to your ears, and then go like this. Do you feel that little gap that opens up? That gap is actually where your jawbone, your mandible, connects to your skull. And it is a joint that comes up like this and it connects in. Now that can be very tight or held or it can be nice and relaxed. You want it to be relaxed. So take your hands and use your hands to draw down your jaw. It might even make you yawn. And if it does, that's actually a good thing. <sighs> if it does make you yawn, let your yawn out. Don't do the... Don't hide your yawn. That creates more tension. Oh, that nice released feeling. So your jaw is going to travel down. Your chin comes down as well. And then you just have space. Try taking a few breaths, breaths like we just practiced, breathing down to your belly, but with your jaw here. Ready? That time I used both hands to help myself remember. This time I'll just use one hand. Now I'm going to try it without any hands helping remind me. So I just took a breath for singing where my breath traveled down and expanded and my belly released and relaxed. My jaw also traveled down, released and relaxed. You might be noticing a theme. So that downward flow, that release and relaxation is going to be so valuable for you as a singer at home. Practice that consistently and you will get better with time. All right, so now let's move to actually singing. I'm here at my piano. So I'll be playing along with you. And again, if you've watched my other video, you know you'll have headphones, you'll have a good situation maybe in front of a mirror so you can see your breath and the space in your face. But you already know all that. So this is how it's going to work. I will play and sing at the start. I'll provide some advice and instruction and you follow along at home. This first exercise sounds like this. I'm singing with that ah space. Then I'll move upwards. And at the moment that I move up, that is your cue to breathe. I'll demonstrate. Ah. Look at that, I just breathed and I didn't close my mouth. You might be tempted to close your mouth between each exercise. Resist that urge, keep the space open and breathe through that ah shape that you'll be singing. I'm going to sing along with you for the first three, and then I will stop and the piano will keep going. You keep going too. When we get to the end, I will join in for the last three, and that's how you can know that we're coming to the end. So, here's the start. Ready, breathe. when I was singing, there was a little bit of scratchiness to my voice. And guess what? I haven't sung today. This is my warm-ups too. So if you hear any scratchiness in your voice, that's just a normal part of singing for the first time in any given day. Me with my music degree, I wake up and my voice is scratchy. But I know that with warm-ups, my voice will become smoother and more consistent, and it'll be easier to sing as I go on. 
So, I haven't sung today. My voice is probably going to be a little bit scratchy. If your voice is scratchy too, don't stress about it. Just keep singing through it and your voice will become smoother and more consistent the further along we get in warm-ups. You'll probably hear that in my voice too. You may also hear, if you are a lower voice singer, you may hear that my notes aren't exactly the same as your notes. If you're singing along and you end up singing in the lower octave, that would sound like this. Would be what I'm singing, but you're singing. And if that's where your voice is, that's perfect. You can match along with me in the lower octave, just wherever your voice is comfortable. It's all good, don't stress about it. Just keep going and it will get easier with time. Let's do another exercise together and this one is designed to line up your voice to go exactly where you want it to go. You're actually going to take a finger and you're gonna ring a doorbell, ding dong. And actually that doorbell sound is going to be the very first note of this exercise, which will be right here. So as you ring that doorbell, it's going to be the sound of your voice right where you want it to start. Let's ring the doorbell three times together, just like that. Or if you're in the lower octave, and either one is good. So ring that doorbell and then we're gonna keep going and it's gonna travel forward with your voice sounding like this. First note lands right where you want it and then it just keeps traveling. I'll do the first three with you. Do that doorbell movement even if you feel a little bit silly that's okay. Do the silly thing. We do silly things for smart reasons. Ready, breathe. Ooh, again. for you. If that was low in your voice, it's okay. This isn't perfect doing this over the internet. If this was a private one-on-one -on -one voice lesson, we would doing it exactly to your voice. But since it's over the internet, I'll just sort of do it generally to where most singers would be able to make that sound happen. If you hit gravel in your voice, and you hit gravel, just stop, that's where your voice range is today. And as you sing more, that range may expand. So do what's comfortable to your voice. This next exercise is going to use the same pattern of notes that we just used. Ooh. So you can still think about getting that very first note nice and clean and then singing your voice after it. However, this one we will add words and that's the big difference between a singer and an instrumentalist. Singers sing words most of the time so you want to have some storytelling, some expression, some excitement in your face. So it's going to sound like this. How are you today? The words are how are you today? And I really want you to sing this like you actually want to know how my day is going. Hopefully you would. But even if you have to use a little bit of acting ability, even if you feel a little bit silly doing that, it's okay. Wake up your face, have some engagement in your words. And again, the words are, how are you today? Starting right here. Ready? Breathe. How are you today? Good. Each time we move up, think about the word how and breathe like you're about to say the ah of how. How are you today, rather than, how are you today? 
How are you today? Like you're really excited to see someone. I'll sing the first three and the last three. You keep going. Ready? Here we go. How are you today? How are you today? How are you today? Keep going. Let's do one last exercise. For this one, we're gonna go back down towards the bottom, the low notes, and we're gonna keep moving up and higher. This one has words as well. Those words are, oh no, poor Joe. Say it with me. Oh no, poor Joe. These are very round, oh, oh, oh. Those corners of your mouth are going to come in. And in some of our future videos, I'll talk about rounded vowels and how those can make your sound a little bit different. For right now, just think instead of, oh no, poor Joe, like you don't care about Joe at all. Oh no, poor Joe, like you're really concerned about Joe, whoever Joe is. I don't know, make up a Joe. So. It's going to sound like this. Oh no, poor Joe. If you know solfege, that would be do mi so mi do. But you don't have to know solfege to be a good singer. It's just a tool that we can use sometimes. Again, it's oh no, poor Joe. And really use your face like you're concerned, like you want to know what's going on. I'll sing with you the first three and the last three. And we're gonna go up into our high notes, so don't hesitate, keep going. One, two, ready? Oh no, poor Joe. Oh no, poor Joe. Oh no, poor Joe. Breathe. Remember to round. Keep your face alive. a little bit silly, a little bit awkward. You might have felt that your voice was scratchy or it didn't do exactly what you wanted it to do. And that's just a normal part of singing. You may have heard a little scratchiness in my voice. It's because I haven't sung much today. As you sing more, your voice gets more comfortable. That's both short term, one day's worth of practice. It's also long term, days and weeks and years worth of practice. You'll get more and more comfortable as time goes by. So don't freak out if things didn't go perfectly. That's just life sometimes. In the future, I'm going to be posting more videos with slightly more complex warm-ups. This one was a good one for late elementary, middle school, early high school, maybe people who are just starting out singing. If you've never sung before, this is a great video for you. If you felt like this was a little bit below your level, that's okay. It's never a bad thing to go over the fundamentals. So there can still be value in following some of my videos, but know that I'm going to be posting more complex things as we go along. This is created to benefit my students at Roosevelt Middle School, who I love and miss, but if you're someone who's not in one of my classes, I think that's wonderful. Hello, keep watching, like and subscribe and all that good stuff and I look forward to helping you sing in the future. Thank you for watching and singing with me today. Frankie and I wanna say thank you and keep singing um, and there'll be more to come in the future. We'll see ya, bye.